Greetings, everybody. I am the Starving Martian, and with another Men in Black movie officially on its way, I thought now was as good a time as any to break this big bad bug boy out. This, of course, is Alien Terrorist Edgar from Gloob's Men in Black uh, toy line back in 1997. And <laughs> you guys remember the time where you could actually call your toy Alien Terrorist and uh, not have parents groups after you? Well, that was a different world, but anywho, so this is Alien Terrorist Edgar. This is the Edgar Bug, as depicted at the end of the Men in Black movie. Spoilers. And, um, so yeah, we've, we've taken a look at a number of Men in Black figures, um, in this channel. Uh, if you missed any of them, they got their own playlist. Just click on my name and, uh, search out the Men in Black MIB playlist, and you'll see what we got there, mostly the Gloob uh, figures from the first movie, and, uh, I have to say, if you can only own one alien figure from that line, this is the guy to own, um, of course, he's the most well-known of the, um, evil aliens in the Men in Black franchise as a whole, um, even though he dies, <coughs> spoilers, at the end of the, uh, first movie, um, another member of his species appears on and off in the, uh, cartoon series, so they did get a lot of mileage out of this character but um anyway this is edgar not the alien's real name of course but uh the name of the farmer whose body he inhabits it walks around in him like an edgar suit as it's described in the film until finally emerging as this giant cockroach alien monstrosity at the end um now you'll notice there are some differences between this figure and the way that the uh alien actually looked in the movie itself, and that's because this is largely based off of the uh, model that was made by um, Rick Baker. Uh, the, originally, they were going to use a uh, model, puppet work. Um, not even puppet work so much as um, animatronics. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, and there was going to be a scene at the end where uh, Edgar debates philosophical reasonings with the MIB. I don't know. It sounds weird. But uh, they decided to go a little more action-packed and had to scrap that whole scene and do something with a little bit of CGI in it. Which, for its time, still holds up remarkably well. But in either case, the look of the Egger bug was changed. But uh, let's get right down to the toy itself. Now, uh, as you can see, it's just a big, nasty alien roach. With a huge, bulbous belly, which we will get into in a moment. Um, and a little bit closer here, uh, on that noggin, so you see it's got kind of this hooded, uh, cobra look going for it, um, which is again more from the, uh, model that was going to be used than what you actually saw in film. Um, he has, <coughs> excuse me, a gimmick going on with his jaws here, with his mandibles, where if you uh, take and you move this arm here up and down, there he goes, a little munchy crunchy action for you. Now for something this uh, this large, um, about oh, nine or so inches tall, um, he's surprisingly limited in articulation. You see he's got, uh, bend here and here. So, you can flex his arm down and up. And we'll actually even rotate at the shoulder, which is nice. Uh, the other arm has the same points of articulation here. But, um, it's slightly more limited because it wants to spring back into position because of that mouth gimmick. But um, there's really not much you could do with the legs. They'll swivel back and forth. But there's no joints in the knees or anything like that. Which, personally, that's I'm, I'm fine with that because it means that he holds a position. He's not going to get loose and floppy and fall over on you. Uh, nothing in the head, nothing in the tail. So, really, um, the points here and the arms are the only spots you're going to be able to move this guy. But, uh, really, how many poses do you want out of a giant alien cockroach? Um, 
So let's compare them for a moment with some other Edgars that we've taken a look at already. This is uh, the uh, hidden Edgar ah, monster face that comes with um, slimed uh, Agent K figure. And they're roughly the same scale. Different paint. And uh, let's see, here is the Edgar bug in a spaceship. That came with the um, uh, Zappum van that uh, we've taken a look at. And this guy is actually a bit smaller than he is. In fact, one problem this thing has is scale, kind of, sort of. I say problem, it doesn't really bother me, but um, I'll show you in a minute what I mean. Uh, the other gimmick that this guy has besides his uh, mouth bits, and this is... <laughs> This is where the figure gets weird. This is where Edgar becomes a little, uh, I don't know, a little too fruity in for my tastes. But um, his big uh, belly hair, and I don't know if you can really see it in here, but it is translucent. And you could just kind of make out the outline of something inside. And so what you're going to do is just kind of squeeze it open here like uh, one of them old... Um, rubber uh, change purses and you can pull out yeah Agent K and Agent K here has seen better days <laughs> now granted if I was in an alien's gut um, I probably wouldn't you know look much better but you know in the movie he was just kind of jumped right in he, he encourages the bug to eat him and then he blows the bug up from inside spoilers and um, and never looks anywhere near this petrified, but what are you going to do? Now, uh, I've seen pictures of Agent K with a much better paint job. And I'll show you that in just a minute. But first, this is what I'm talking about with scale. So, this is the slimed out Agent K action figure. And this is him next to the teeny tiny baby Agent K that comes with Edgar. And then again, another classic case of uh, bring your child to work day. So, um, let's see. So, does Edgar here actually scale with the rest of the figures? And, and actually, I don't think that scale there is too bad. I think that actually kind of works. But obviously, he's not going to fit in that, so they had to give you this uh, trimmed down version. So, um, let's get you out of the way. Now, a fun thing about Edgar here. Now, like I said, I <laughs> this thing here, honestly, it looks more like he's giving birth than uh, he swallowed Agent K and Agent K is coming out of his gut. And and as I said, Agent K doesn't even do that. He, the, the, the bug blows up. It explodes in half. Uh, but uh, the, the thing that is kind of fun is that... Um, Anything small enough, you could just pop right in there. So, there's a little baby crash test dummy. There we go. <laughs> and now it truly is pregnant. Push, Edgar, push! Alright, what else can you put in there? I don't know, how about Gizmo Duck? Why not? Hello! Get in there. There. Now Edgar's eating Gizmo Duck. Darkwing Duck will be thrilled. Now, out of there. Lego minifigures work fine in here. Uh, just about anything you want. <laughs> but it has to be obviously of a good size, a smaller size that will fit in there. Now, um, the other cool thing about this Edgar figure is, apart from the MIB, you could pair him off with all sorts of things. So. Uh, a couple weeks ago, we took a look at the um, Godzilla Squad action figures from um, Trendmaster. And they work pretty well fighting Edgar here. That that looks pretty good. This looks, <laughs> this looks very much like something you would expect a casualogist to be doing. Let's see, what else have we got? Um, ah, yeah. Edgar versus Cerberus. 
I don't know. Why not? There's Edgar versus the uh, Gigantor lady from uh, Aliens versus uh, Monsters. And again, it works because she's a monster fighting an alien. So it's all good. Edgar versus Terminator. I don't know. Whatever you feel like doing. It's completely 100% up to you. So let's take a quick look at the box that uh, Mr. Bugface came in. Boom. Alright, so here's the uh, package. As you see, he's uh, Alien Terrorist Edgar. This was originally purchased at a KB toy store. And Rescue K from Alien Guts. Ages 4 and up. According to this, he's got uh, posable legs and movable arms, snapping insectoid jaws and mandibles, and you can rescue tr K trapped inside Alien's translucent belly. In the back of the box, you got some of the other figures in the line. Uh, we've already looked at this one, and these two, and him, and him, and him. So we just got a couple left to go. And uh, here's your picture. Now, here's what I'm talking about. Look at that nice yellow <laughs> gooey slime compared to what you actually get. This one does look a little bit more like somebody just sneezed on him. It's kind of nasty. But I guess kind of nasty might be what they were going for. All right, so let's see. Uh, protecting the scum from the scum, sure. Protecting the earth from the scum of the universe. Okay, so according to this write-up here, it says, uh, Aliens disguised as humans live and work amongst us. Most are upright citizens, but a few seedy characters try to test the rules of society. That's when they encounter the Men in Black, a secret organization that uh, polices Earth's alien visitors. Now the MIB confronts its greatest threat, an intergalactic terrorist who disguises himself as Edgar. Only the Men in Black can stop him and save the galaxy. Edgar, in his true alien bug form, is ready to give Kay the fight of his life when they face off for man-to-bug combat. But, Kay's got a few tricks up his sleeve and Edgar may find that he's bitten off more than he can chew. Now there is also... Let's see, where did you go? Ah, here we are. Bottom of the box. The alien profile. Now, <laughs> I find this to be a little bit, uh, I don't know, speciesist. Uh, according to the official profile of the Men in Black Keep, um, there's actually a listing for disgusting characteristics. It's like, guys, try to be a little more sensitive. You work with aliens every day of your life, and you have an official listing for what their disgusting characteristics are. <laughs> Eggers are two hideous insect legs, hairy exoskeleton, long tail, stinger, three toes, and cobra head. Um... Yeah, so, not not uh, the most sensitive portrayal of an alien being, especially for people who work with aliens and, and claim that most of them are good and beneficial. Uh, one thing I like to do with Edgar here is pair him off with my little Mars Attacks figures. Because, as we all know, Martians, uh, one of their favorite things to do is... Uh, <laughs> make uh, earth insects grow to incredible sizes and use them as weapons so that actually works pretty well so um so yeah that is Edgar, the evil alien cockroach terrorist monster beast thing and if you want one of these i would highly recommend getting one new because they're not all that expensive i picked this one up for like 15 bucks including shipping uh they usually go around 20 or 25. You can get one used cheaper, but these fragile antennas are sometimes broken. The um, stomach area here uh, gets loose over time and um, just looks nastier than it ought. And um, there's really no reason not to spend the extra couple bucks and get a brand new one. You can find them uh, probably eBay is your best bet. So this has been the Starving Martian reminding you as always to keep watching the skies and we will see you later. Bye.